Hi guys, we are at the home of the latest entrant in the Kenyan market, the Ineos Canadian, the toughest and most reliable SUV in the market. And right now with me is Mr. Gentleman Jack, as I'm going to go him for this particular episode. Please tell us much more about Wooten Automotive as a home of Canadian Kenya and this product. As you mentioned, my name is Jack Wooten. I'm the uh, MD of Wooten Automotive, the dealer of the Ineos Grenadier here in Kenya. Now, tell us about the construction of this Ineos Grenadier product. What's it made of in terms of its DNA? The Ineos Grenadier is a robust utilitarian vehicle designed to fill a gap in the market left by traditional automakers as they became more and more focused on luxury, leaving the utility aspects behind. In saying that, however, this is still a comfortable, modern vehicle. Fundamentals, ladder chassis, live axles front and rear, coil spring suspension, and then this wonderful boxy body, which is designed as a, as a form follows function purpose. And even one simple idea is these flat wings. It's not a copy of Land Rover, it is practical. This can sit here, as can a cup of coffee, if we wanted one. Absolutely, I can see that. Practicality is the name of the game. Now, many Kenyans would ask, what engines power the Grenadier? Please tell us much more about right. different power trains available for this product. We've got petrol and diesel engines from BMW. Right. So we have a B58 single turbo petrol engine and a B57 twin turbo diesel. These are both three litre straight six BMW engines, coupled up to ZF eight speed automatic transmission and two speed transfer case Bespoke designed by Ineos, manufactured by Tremec, a well-known well transfer case manufacturer, supplying power now front and rear. Wow, that's important. I think many people who love the BMW B57 and B58 engines would be happy to have that particular engine and powertrain in this in this community. But let's jump inside and have a look at the unique features of this Ineos community. So Trev. Before we hop inside, I'd like to point out a few features which make the Grenadier amazing off-road. We start up front, I want to point out, look at this very short overhang, which allows the vehicles to drive through ditches, extend steep slopes, and, and uh, an approach angle, an off-road vehicles is very important, and the approach angle is the angle from, from here to here, indicates what gradient of slope we can ascend. Grenadier is best in class, I think, by, by far. You've got a live axle here, which furthermore improves ground clearance by actually lifting the vehicle over obstacles, which is intrinsically better than a wishbone setup or independent setup found on most vehicles. Coming down, we've got the generally high ground clearance, and in the center of the vehicle, this provides a good breakover angle. And coming to the rear, again very important, an extremely short rear overhang. And this rear overhang is very unique. You'll find most SUVs, and this, we don't call this an SUV, but if you look at most SUVs, you'll find the overhang about twice as long and that measured from the end of the vehicle to the center of the wheel. And that again, just like the front, we call it a departure angle. It's a very aggressive departure angle, allowing you to pull away through deep slopes or come off deep hills. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle, I'd like to point out some design features and other points which may be of interest. The rear door is a 70-30 split. This 30 door is nice and small, very convenient for small luggages. And if you want a large opening, we have this big door, which now yields a huge opening, full width of the vehicle, allowing you to carry in and out large bulky items. If you note, there's a door seal here all the way around and on the door. Every single door of this vehicle has large double door seals. Furthermore, the door hinges are like nothing I've ever seen before. You're not going to have any flex movement in the door hinges over time, no matter what you drive, thousands of kilometers on corrugated roads. With weight hanging on the doors, like the rear tire in this example, it's not going to destroy the door. It may not be a design feature pointed out easily, but it's certainly there with a Grenadier. This is built to last and built to perform on four, four roads, kilometer after kilometer. Okay, Trev, having said that, please join me inside. Let's check out the interior of the vehicle. Just before we get in, I'd like to show you some features regarding the seat driving position, which we point out before we hop in. You'll notice the seat has no electric controls. This is actually by design, as there are no electric motors within the seat to get damaged 
over time or from water. You can hose out the interior of the Grenadier. So if you get muddy, you clean it out. Underneath this floor mat is a drain valve that you can open. So having no motor down here makes the vehicle ultimately more reliable and usable. Yet, we don't sacrifice comfort. The seat is still extremely adjustable. We have our usual fore and aft control, which by the way, is quicker than electric motor anyway. You can go, the seat can go down and up. And of course we have a large recline ability as well. If you couple that together with a manually adjustable steering wheel, tilt and telescopic, the Grenadier can become a very comfortable place to be for many, many years. Thanks for joining me in the interior of the Grenadier Trev. Yes. And I think immediately you can see this is a premium, comfortable place to be. Yeah. Much more akin to a modern luxury SUV than the off-road beast the yes. Grenadier is. And also I'd like to mention once the doors are closed and you're on the open road, with the double door seals and solid construction quality, noise, vibration and harshness levels within the cabin are very, very low. 12.3 inch screen is split two thirds, one third, two thirds being information one third being your driving controls. That's your fuel gauge, temperature gauge, speed, revs. In front of the uh, steering wheel here, we have statutory warning lights. If you like, standard vehicular controls are located on the center console. This is your climate control, and Grenadier does have automatic climate control where you set cabin temperature yeah. and it will be maintained. We have seat heaters, which people say are not needed in Kenya, but where I live in Tagoni, they're certainly needed. Yes, um, very much. Window DMS boost, radio controls down here. Then we have our shifter, regular eight-speed shifter, two-speed mechanically actuated transfer case levers, yes. and this rotary design. The reason why it's there is because it's much easier to use when driving. Your yes. hand falls naturally to, to, to this position, where the four and a half movement of driving, accelerating and braking make yeah. it harder to touch the touchscreen. Despite that, we give our we give Grenadier owners and Grenadier users both options. The screen is completely touchscreen, everything can be done by touch yeah. or everything can be done from this rotary control. Now, if we move up, yeah. it's where we, a lot of our viewers may want to look at. Our off-road and specialist controls are found in the roof console. We'll talk about in another episode exactly what they do, but the idea is to move the specialist controls into the roof, which declutters our dashboard. Interesting, I can see it's a proper, it's a comfortable SUV that's really tough as nuts. Um, and I mean, anybody who's looking for a premium vehicle will probably get it in this particular vehicle. For the people who are watching at home, I'm sure they're curious. Um, how can they purchase an Indus Grenadier and what is the ordering process? I think to discuss that, let's go over to one of our sales desks where we have the color samples and we can discuss the, the details of ordering. Thank you. Yeah, let's jump out. So Trev. Yes. You want to buy a Grenadier? Yes, for me and my wifey. So where do I start? Okay. Well, in one line, contact us. Yes. We're here to help you experience the Grenadier and choose the best Grenadier, best option for you. Okay. There's two main routes to ordering a Grenadier. One is to build your own vehicle, where you can choose from the array of colors, which we see behind us, yeah. trim, engine choices. Alternatively, we often have a list of stock vehicles or soon to be available vehicles that you can choose from. They are pre-specified. However, you do get usually a saving in time and cost. So if you get a hold of us, we can, we can give you the list. Alternatively, our website actually has all the stock vehicles available listed on it and a process for how to, how to spec out your own vehicle on there yeah. as well. Yes. We can supply duty-free vehicles uh -huh. for pretty much any um, route to obtaining duty-free. Yeah. Um, diplomatic or returning residents, etc. We do have a solution for everybody out there. So please also do, do get in touch with us yeah. um, if you're eligible and we'll guide you through, through the process. Furthermore, also specialist vehicles or customized vehicles, customized, we can also help with that. And we do have partners around the world who can do various customizations. For example, bulletproof vehicles. Wow, interesting. Um, second thing would be a warranties. What kind of warranties do you give okay. back? I've got an industry leading five year warranty yes. for 100,000 kilometers. Wow. That's yeah. class leading, really. I believe so. <laughs> in Kenya, perhaps someone could confirm me wrong, but, but yeah. we have a five year mechanical warranty. And although not so relevant in Kenya, a 12 year 
perforation or rust warranty wow. on the Gwen India. So you can bundu bash the hell out of the car <laughs> in muddy, sandy water and still have that warranty. That's the point, Strav. That really is the point. And year after year after year, wow. we're here to support you. We've got roadside assistance as yes. well. So if something were to go wrong in the bush, yes. we've got trained technicians. We have our own grenadiers. We'll come down and help you. We'll find a plan to, to sort you out, absolutely. After sales is, is very close to me. Yes. Believe it or not, I can work on vehicles myself. I spent a lot of time growing up as a, as a mechanic myself. We understand these vehicles. We can help you out wherever you are in the country and even beyond. <laughs> Tell me guys, listen, have you ever heard of an MD who's himself is a, he's a mechanic. He knows how to get <laughs> down and dirty and under and get down and understand the vehicle. So that has been Mr. Jack Wooten, the Managing Director of Wooten Automotive, and he's given us a walk around of the car, a brief description of how to purchase the vehicle and where to find it. So in case you've just missed that, uh, click on the QR code that's on the right of the screen. You can scan to take you right through to Wooten Automotive website. You can check out all the different types of uh, units available, the colors, you can order, pre-specify, and you can just get the details. They're actually located uh, in Karen, and of course you do have quite a number of details. So check out the social media notes below and we expect you to come and have a bums in seats uh, effect when getting into the cars of this media you can actually get a test drive right absolutely uh -huh. of course so come through. through the number is there give them a call they'll take you through for a test drive and then you'll make your decision as to why perhaps the Ines Grenadier is your next SUV well this is episode one signing out big boy Trev live and direct at the Wooten Automotive Center see you on the second episode